Okay, here we are with another Blender quick tip. This time we're going to talk about the difference between using Shift D to duplicate something versus Alt D. So here we have a cube and I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate it. And we'll just move it over here and we'll select that same cube again and this time we're going to hit Alt D and then we'll move it over here. Let's go into the uh, rendered view and then we're going to go down to the materials tab but let's make sure we have this first cube selected and this will illustrate quite quickly uh, the difference between the shift D and alt D to duplicate so the shift D makes a new copy of that object it is completely its own thing uh, whereas the alt D makes an instance of the original object so we can illustrate this by looking at the material you'll see that all three have this you know, default material on them, but you can see that there's only two uh, number of data blocks in the scene, and that's accounting for this one and this one. This one down here actually is just an instance pointing to this original one. So if I then make this its own material here, you'll see this is now material one. There's no number next to it, which means it's just on this cube. And so if we click on this one, the one that we did shift D, you'll see that it still has the original material. But if we click on the Alt D one, you'll see it has the material of the original. And so any changes that we make here uh, should be reflected on this uh, one here because it's just an instance of the first one, whereas these two here are separate objects. So Shift D makes separate objects, Alt D makes instances of your original object. So the advantage of Alt D is that with an instance, it takes less resources for your computer to keep track of that object. The downside is any change you make to the original object then gets reflected in all the instances. 